So Abu Bakr asked him, how long have you been in Mecca? And Abu Dhar says, 30 days. Abu Bakr says, what have you been eating? Where have you been living? So Abu Dhar said, I have been hiding under the ghilaf of the Kaaba and drinking Zamzam for 30 days straight. And, and he showed his stomach, I have grown fat off of Zamzam. Just Zamzam because he doesn't have any person he can go to. Just Zamzam and I have grown Saminto, I have given my, gained my weight from drinking Zamzam. And this is when the Prophet said that famous hadith, إِنَّهَا طَعَامُ طُعْمٍ That Zamzam counts as food for the one who needs food. There is miraculous power in Zamzam. That Zamzam will give you what you want. And the other hadith says, I just quoted it, Zamzam will give you what you want. So the one who drinks Zamzam for food, it will be food for him. The one who drinks Zamzam for a particular dua, it will be dua for him. The one who drinks Zamzam for answering any need, it will answer his need. So, ma uzamzama lima shuriba lahu, as the hadith says, Zamzam water is what it is intended for. Abu Dhar intended for it to be for food. He wanted it to be food and therefore he basically got... Another time when dua is accepted is when drinking Zamzam water. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Zamzam water is what it is drunk for. Zamzam water is what it is drunk for. So the reason why you drink Zamzam water is for that reason. Okay, Ikhwani, from amongst the Salaf, there was a man and his name uh, has left my mind. I don't know if it was Ibrahim and Nakhai, Allah knows best. But he was from amongst the early generations of Muslims. He came to the wall of Zamzam in Mecca and he said, Oh Allah, I heard from such a person, who heard from such a person, who heard from this person, who heard from this person, who heard from Jabir radiallahu anhu, who's the companion, who heard from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So he narrated in his dua, he narrated the entire chain of the narration, going all the way back to the Prophet alayhi salam. Oh Allah, I heard from this person, he heard from him, he heard from him, he heard from him. He heard from Jabir radiallahu anhu, who's the companion, who heard from the words, the mouth of the Prophet alayhi salam, Zamzam is whatever it's drunk for. So he said, Oh Allah, I am drinking this Zamzam now so that I don't go thirsty on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. You know, look at his dua, look at, the, look at how far sighted he was in his dua. That he is drinking this water now and my intention when drinking it now is that يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضُ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ That with the day when the heavens and the earth are changed for a different thing completely and the skies as well, I don't want to be thirsty on that day. So make dua when drinking Zamzam. Okay. Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto discovers the secrets of Zamzam water. Science, at a very later stage, reveals new secrets about Zamzam water and the way it is influenced by the verses of the glorious Quran. It has been scientifically proven that water is affected by what is recited over it. Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto has had a unique experience. He said that he had read in a book that each snowflake falling from the sky is unique that this scientific instinct is not true. Because the geometric shape of the snowflake is determined by its chemical composition. The composition of water is two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So, he was determined to prove that this theory was false. He built a laboratory consisting of a deep freezer with a regulator because no liquid subjected to sudden freezing can assume a geometric shape. The freezing must be slow, so the atoms have the chance to crystallize into the shape decreed by God. He constructed a deep freezer with a regulator, a cold room at the temperature of minus 7 degrees Celsius, and several microscopes equipped with cameras, so he could photograph the snowflake before it melted. The scientists working in this room wore warm clothing, he said, I took samples from two faucets in the laboratory, I froze them, and each sample gave me a different snowflake. 
The samples came from two different wells, two different rivers, from two different lakes. I almost went crazy and thought this was witchcraft. A Saudi student at the University of Tokyo happened to meet and give him Zamzam water to experiment on it, said Zamzam water is not affected by witchcraft or jinns, so using it can prove or disprove the whole theory. Emoto took a sample of Zamzam water, and said, I couldn't crystallize it, even by diluting the water by 1000. When he diluted the water by 1000 and froze it, he got a uniquely shaped crystal. Two crystals were formed, one on top of the other, but they assumed a unique form. His Muslim colleague told him about two crystals, that Zam Zam is composed of two words, Zam and Zam. Allah knows best. Emoto said, my Muslim colleague offered to recite Quranic verses over the water. He brought a tape recorder and played some Quranic verses, and we got the most perfectly shaped crystals. Then he played the 99 names of Allah, the Almighty. Each name produced a uniquely shaped crystal. Dr. Emoto published a five-volume book called Messages from Water. He wrote, I have proven that water, that peculiar liquid, is capable of thinking, fathoming, feeling, getting excited, and expressing itself. The quality, purity of Zamzam water has, will not be found anywhere else in the water on this earth. He used nanotechnology and research to lot on Zamzam water, and found out that if one drop of Zamzam water mix in 1000 drops of regular water, regular water will get the same quality like Zamzam water. He also found that, a mineral in one drop of Zamzam water has its own importance, that will not be found any other water on this earth. He also found in some tests, that the quality or ingredients of Zamzam water cannot be changed. Why? Science does not know the reason. Even he recycled the Zamzam water, but no change, it was still pure. This scientist also found out that the Muslims say, Bismillah, before eating and drinking. He says that after saying, Bismillah, on regular water, there are some strange changes happened in the quality of regular water. That make it best water. He also found out, if someone recites the Quran on regular water, it gets the ability for the treatment of different diseases, 